What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, it's all about Messi. He has finally been given, I suppose, the props, right? And they've really blown it out of the park, man. They've really, really got their use out of this. So Messi is just having a little chat here. He's talking about this. We've seen these clips before, some of these clips, obviously. When Messi was... Oh, man, I remember that goal. I remember that goal, lads, for multiple reasons. But anyway... Uh, when Messi, there's a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff in this, uh, in these packs, and we'll get into them. There's three different versions of Messi that we're going to get into, and he's also got a special booster that we'll uh, we'll have a look at here as well, right? So they're really blowing the bank with Messi here. You can see uh, Xavi and Messi there um, with this video, but he's not the only card that we have got. So we've got another two, and then we've got a free one as well. So, as I said, yeah, they've really blown blown it out here with this one, and it's just going to be all about Messi with this update. Some of the, some of the cards are very similar. Some of the cards are quite decent, uh, you know, but the free card, which we will kind of leave off today, uh, we'll just have a little, you know, chat on that. Um, the cards are fairly well balanced, I would say, that they're all very similar, whichever that you get, which, to be honest with you, lads, you're kind of getting them for the booster and you're kind of getting them for the look of the card and the collection of the card, right? So that's just something to keep in mind because they've all got similar play styles. They've all got similar everything, really. Um, but let's see how we let's see how we go with them uh, when we take a look at them, right? So obviously, the most recent one was the Messi uh, World Cup one. And this card is going to be, you know, stacked on dribbling and stuff like that. His dribbling type possession are outrageous. We'll get into that in a sec. But yeah, I mean, listen, like they were always going to bring out cards like this for Messi. Uh, I mean, personally, I'd like to see him also do it for Cristiano Ronaldo, but it depends because, you know, he is obviously their ambassador. Um, so they were always going to do this. But yeah, the biggest thing about these cards, lads, is going to be the fact that we have got the new booster, right? So we will show you that in a second. Um, but these are also part of a pack which are being called, I think it's called the Golden Achievement um, or yeah, whatever. There we go, Golden Achievement. So we actually go, don't get shown that card there, but we do get the card in the inbox. So these three cards are premium ones. And then we also get a free version here, which you will see just here now with the login, right? So you're going to get all these achievements. You're also going to get your Day of the Dead and you're going to get your Lionel Messi golden achievement, right? So very, very simply, when you just go into your inbox and you get your Messi here, we are going to have him ready to go, and we're going to show you here. So you just sign him up here. This is naturally enough going to be the weakest version of Messi um, that, they, that they have out of the four that are available this week. I mean, he starts off as an 85 overall player. I think he's only got 25 levels or so um yeah i think he's yeah 25 levels so that is obviously quite poor um compared to the other cards speed is a bit of a concern with this card but it's a fairly decent free card if you have just recently started playing the game but we're going to focus on right we'll have a look at him if we have time but we're going to focus on the premium cards here which are part of the special player list and part of this 150 player pack because i want to talk about the players that you see here with the max booster so until now okay we had a booster uh, i can show you here and i might do a little bit of a more of a deep dive on this these were the boosters that we had so far right so we had deco here with his booster which was a plus two to a technique or plus two to whatever which was putting plus two on individual stats so you can see there that low pass has gone from 88 with the booster on to 90, okay? And the booster is activated at all times, okay? Well, with this Messi, they've finally introduced new boosters, right? So this Messi here is going to be 87 overall, 88 with the booster, but he's actually getting a plus four um, as the king of football. And you can see there that he's got a different little icon, plus four increase to the dribbling, tight possession, physical contact, and balance. So as you see here, his balance is going to jump up from 79 to 83. His physical contact is going to go from 82 to 86. And his type possession is going to go from 94 to 98. Like, to me, lads, this is outrageous, right? Because not only that, but you've also got 34 levels with this Messi. Like, this is going to be... And I hate saying it, man, but it's going to be like broken cards. These cards are going to be broken. You know, they are going to be absolutely insane. I mean, we all know how good the premium edition Messi is. That was part of the pack for 20 quid uh, um, on launch week. But even if we take a quick look at this guy's stats over on eFootballDB with those 34 levels, right? 
We're also going to be getting the plus four boost to dribbling, tight possession, balance, and physical contact. So because of that, we don't need to go any higher because of the physical contact. We don't need to go any higher than 86 on that to have 90 physical contact. For balance, right, even ignoring everything else, we don't need to go higher than 86 either to have 90 balance. On top of that, dribbling, apart from ball control, we can get that to 88, and we don't even need to go that high because we're going to have the tight possession maxed out at that. And then also we can get his finishing to 88. We're also going to be able to get his passing to 88 if we want to go that route. And then on top of that, we've also got speed, which we can go eight into that, which will give us 82 speed. Stamina, I never worry too much about stamina. But even at that on first viewing, lads, that is an extraordinarily built card where there's literally no weakness. And that is even training him in a way that I preferably wouldn't be training this guy as, a, as an attacking midfielder style player. I would be playing Messi straight up through the middle and I would kind of reduce the passing to like, you know, because you're going to be getting that boost on that, I would probably reduce the passing there. Um, I'd probably even reduce it to maybe there, like just to have it at around the low pass mark at like 80 because all that you're going to be doing with this card as a centre forward is going to be building up the play um, as with, with Messi as the final point, kind of, kind of like Romario-esque. And even though that the acceleration and the balance are there, I would probably even go a little bit more heavy with the acceleration and the balance. But most importantly, the offensive awareness for the runs. And you're going to have acceleration and balance well into the 90s and offensive awareness well into the 90s. Excellent dribbling, excellent finishing, and everything that you could possibly want with this card. The thing that's going to be broken about this card, lads, is we haven't seen a card yet that has got literally maxed out dribbling, tight possession, uh, physical contact and balance into the 90s with 96 uh, acceleration plus because if we throw Ten Hag on him he's going to have 85 speed as well as well as that acceleration which is going to be ridiculously high right so that is the first version of Messi that we see there as a deep line forward with the booster on king of football double touch dip and shot long range shooter first time shot one touch pass chip shot control absolutely insane card probably the best that they've released this guy is down as a right winger. He's down as a creative playmaker, right? I would have liked to have seen a young Messi, but this guy is down as the son of God, which gives him a plus four increase to dribbling, low pass finishing, and kicking power, right? Kicking power, I'm never too worried about. Very similar player skills as usual. You can throw on a couple on there as well. Low lofted pass would be a nice one on this guy as well, or pinpoint crossing if you have him on the wing. And with the booster here, we are going to get Messi with 94 dribbling, going to get a plus four to low pass and finishing and kicking power. So even though this guy is down as a right winger, his stats, again, are extraordinary to be able to play him through the middle. You know, you've got 30, uh, 33 levels here with this card, um, which is quite amazing um, to have 33 levels here with him. Like, it's just a really, really solid card if you were to go with that, uh, with that build for him. And I think that he is definitely one of the cards to watch. Um, if you are looking at a card like this, I do feel like that Messi is kind of a player that this card is more, I think, suited for most people because you will have a lot of um, you will have a lot of people trying to get this card, uh, which will obviously mean that you know you're going to get players that will be you'll be coming up against this card quite often. I would say. But this card is really, really nice. That that plus four is very, very nice as well. I know people are probably crying out for that to have more of an impact on it. But even if we take a look with these 33 levels here, lads, and bearing in mind with the boosters that we're going to get, even forgetting about the boosters, right, and playing him as a cut-in winger, right, even playing him as a cut-in winger, we only need to go to 86 with that. We only need to go to 86 with the low pass. Dribble and ball control. I always have, even if he's a dribbler, the lowest... Uh, stat to go to the 90s with the plus two boost and then the rest of that I mean even his stamina and speed are a little bit lower on this one because it's an older base player but you've still got that extraordinary dexterity with the acceleration the balance and the offensive awareness so I mean this Messi is essentially outperforming like he's outperforming pretty much any winger in the game that can shoot and pass like it's an extraordinary card I think one of the best cards that they've released and a very, very, very solid card that if you do spin him, right? We also do have, and this is a longer video than normal, so apologies. We also have this version of Messi, which has got 32 levels. And he's down as well as a Roman flank. Again, he's down as the bearer of fate, right? So four increased finishing, heading, speed, and acceleration. This is a 21-year-old Lionel Messi. Double touch, soul control, heading, long range, curler, shooting, first time shot, one touch pass, true passing, and dip in shot. So like literally even though all the players will play similar 
these cards I think are some of the best that they have released pound for pound right again you've got that 88 finishing that will show here we don't need to go there with the booster because we're going to be getting plus four to that so we don't need to go any higher um, than 86 on the finishing I'll just show you here on eFootballDB 86 on the finishing again the passing for a right winger here we can go 88 on that if we so choose we're also going to have the dribbling the weakest one ball control is going to be in there this card is probably the weakest of the bunch um in terms of his balance like i i would say that this is probably the least most popular card i definitely feel that this card is probably suited better um to having like you know because his dribbling and passing need to go so high i probably would keep his passing down on this card because um you are going to be getting the boost obviously in game as well um and the manager boost and stuff like that so i would definitely keep it at that maybe um, if you wanted to go like that and you don't want the stats to be m plus 90 and keep all the stats at 90, but I think that this card is probably more better suited um, kind of in an out wide role if you are going to be passing quite a bit. So yeah, they are the three versions of Messi. As I said, we already do have another bunch of cards as well. We have got all of these cards within this pack into 150 as well. It's not a bad pack at all. You've got Alvarez, Jordi Alba, Busquets, Fernandez, Martinez, Otamendi, uh, Sanchez. We will do a video on them. I knew this video was going to be long. We do have the free version of Messi as well, which we'll just give you a quick look at here um, because his stats are not great, lads. His stats here are not great. That speed at 62 is a killer and he's only got 25 levels. So even if you train up everything else as kind of a center forward type player and you can get his balance to 97 and acceleration to 88 with the boost, that's going to be good. Speed is going to be a bit of an, a concern for you, even though the rest of his stats are quite decent. And it's actually a fairly decent card for a free card, right? Because you can still get 88 uh, finishing and you can get 87 low pass. It's not a bad card at all apart from the speed. I never worry about stamina too much um, and lofted pass for the position he's going to be playing in. But yeah, he is definitely the weakest of the bunch, right? So we'll be back with a full break breakdown of that free card how to train in best version until then i will talk to you later let me know what you guys think of these cards let me know what you guys think of the plus four booster and i'll talk to you in a bit will you spin or skip don't forget to subscribe